<laughs> Hello, welcome into the hourglass. Hola. All right, Virgo season, it is harvest time. We have a lot of Piscean energy. We have a lot of retrogrades going on. So a lot of cosmic trouble, <laughs> struggles, struggles. Please stick your feet grounded in your emotions. Keeping calm. I know that's like, what now? Yeah, keeping calm in the midst of all this cosmic chaos is what's going to get you through it. You need to have a focus point. Uh, something that you could focus on while everything is being tossed around and twirled up and twisted and turned in there. You need to have a focus point that's going to keep you grounded, keep you on track. All right. Paranormal, uh, paranormal activities or psychedelic experiences. Some of you may be having like mind blowing, mystical uh, experiences with um, old ancient gods or your higher self or even your ancestor, your spirit team. Pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. You have enough guidance, wisdom, and information facts right now to trust that. Keep your fantasies grounded. Don't fall for no fucking illusions because you're desperate or you're eager. Somebody could be dangling that carrot in front of you or you have a lot of bullshit bullshitters around you that's blocking you. This may be a very hurtful revelation that you're going to have to detach from these um, bullshitters. I'm sorry. And that could be you. The bullshitter in you, it needs to be put to rest at this moment. If you have a problem with procrastination, hesitation, that needs to die off now. All right, harvest time. Let's see about your person. Let's get let's get sneaky. Let's let's spy on your person. So let's tap in. Let's tap in. Deep breath in. I, I saw like a pressure cooker. So I don't know if you guys use pressure cookers or somebody's stewing some meat or making some rice, but somebody's a pressure cooker here. There's some emotions or feelings that's bubbling up. I'm hearing it's waiting to explode or it's ticking. I'm hearing the, the clock started ticking when. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on with your person. It's all about them. We're not going to be talking about you. <laughs> Just all about them. Let's see what's, what it is. Let's get messy. Let's get loud. Let's get loud. That's that J-Lo. All right, let's see what's going on with my viewer's person. Claire, simple answers. Oh, wow. This person have a lot going on. So this person may be making adjustments. They have a goal that's coming up or there's some things that they need to adjust to. We have have faith in your dreams and we have balanced spirituality and practicality. So we have energies of the Pisces. Hey, very, very brilliant. All right. So I'm going to be bouncing back and forth from these cards because we're going to spend way too much time breaking it down if I have to do it right now. So your person is very aware if they want to reach some sort of gold with you or in their life, they're going to have to do some adjustments. They're going to have to build or create this faith in their dreams. They're going to have to have balance between uh, the spirit realm and practicality. They have to learn how to ground their imagination or their imaginative ideas. This could also be that your person right now, they're learning very vital information about spirituality, about their own spirit, and they're using this information, revelations to kind of move forward in a structured way. That's what I'm getting. I'm hearing memories. Your person may um, hold on to the connection with you, with memory. Some of you could be stuck in the past. Maybe you're still waiting for this person to bounce back and be the person who they were in the beginning. Maybe you're having faith in that. I'm also getting that this person may be far away from you. They want you to keep the memory alive. If they're changing or shifting here, they're having some sort of transformative shifting in their spiritual um, journey. I feel like it's because of you. They're doing the necessary adjustments because of you. You're part of their gold planning or you're part of their, their gold list. 
you may be also gold or caramel complexion we have old paradigms releasing so your person right now that's why i felt like that pressure cooking that could be the tower as well so these faults of folly lifestyle it's coming undone your person knows that this is not doable it's not beneficial for this goal that they may have with the both of you so your person is actually maturing and growing up now the thing is when these old paradigms are being released a part of them that wanted to be in that that paradigm or a part of them that held on to it for whatever reason that has to die as well so they're shedding some skin they may be in this mystical mystic snake like energy the cobra or the cobra where they're actually shedding and that could be painful you see we're not in an, a snake's body we don't have a snake's mind we don't have snake's emotion do snakes even have emotion i don't know but we don't know if shedding the skin is actually painful but your person know that they need to stop a lot of dumb shit that they were living by if they want to make this happen they have faith in this dream goal. I'm hearing it's a dream goal. They want you guys to start supporting each other more or they want to start supporting you more. This could also be that they're having a tower moment with what actual genuine support looks like. So this could have been a person that was under illusion with the Pisces energy, old paradigms. They were under some sort of false or distorted way of how to support others. So that could be, you know, if I come out with a business and I have all of these friends, I'm very popular. But then when I come out with a business and I'm trying to promote it, it's like one or two likes. So your person may be understanding that that was superficial. They don't need that type of support. They need a support where uh, this person or you they want the supporting relationship where it restores their faith. They want something spiritually deep. They want to be deeply connected, but they still want to be practical. This is a person that doesn't want to fall for any type of, uh, and it's funny because they were living in an illusion. Maybe it's something that they didn't know. Maybe they were already washed from birth or when they were growing up, they got washed. They got brainwashed, right? So now they're starting to see true support. And that could be between you and them. Maybe you're a person that gives them time and space to fully evolve or for them to fully get it on their own. Big up to all my mature lovers like that where we don't push or we don't intrude or we don't force our way of living or, or thinking. We allow the person to choose what they want to do by giving them options of a way of growing. So you may be a person that may be a natural teacher as we have a lot of natural teachers energy that's springing up in this harvest energy as well. So some of you could be naturally, uh, natural teachers. Hey, and you have no qualms with supporting people. It actually comes very natural to you. We have immature emotions. Yeah. Your person is very immature. They lack emotional intelligence. Maybe for a time they felt like they didn't need to improve this. Maybe uh, for a time being, they felt like they were forced to be something that they were not again in an illusion. So with this Pisces energy, your person wants to belong. I feel like they have the necessary wisdom, the experiences to kind of evolve. Hey, so um, again, I'm going back and forth. I'm bouncing back and forth between these cards because this person has a lot going on. They have a lot that they need to learn or unlearn and relearn. They're riding the wave here. Mm -hmm. So they're doing the necessary adjustments by uh, letting these towers or these folly lifestyles crumble away. So that could be people. That could be a way of living. This could even be how they were living before. So things may be downsizing or it's just changing. It's just shifting to something different. Your person right now is temporary releasing things. They're surrendering to what needs to go. Do you understand what I'm telling you? <laughs> Paradigms and adjustments required. Hmm. So I feel like after this uh, harvest moon, that's when this person is going to start putting in that work. Because this emotion, this immature emotions or this immature way of going through life, it's not giving them the achievement that they're looking for. It actually diminished their faith. So you may be someone that um, restored faith in their life. Let's see what these goals may be pertaining to with the romance. The, uh, what is this? Angel, the romance angel oracle. 
if you guys notice i say things backwards is that dyslexia i don't read backwards but i say things backwards <laughs> or not in its um normal order all right so let's talk about it what is the cosmic news about this person what is this adjustments are required like what level or what aspect of the relationship is this talking about clarify that please worth waiting for ow divine timing so god speeds his hey the most high time speed is hey may the force bewitch you all right divine timing so your person may be looking at this separation or this time apart or this time of limbo as time for preparation your person may be now understanding that you may they may have waited for you before or deep inside they know that the worth is uh you're worth waiting for because they have time now to kind of evolve they have time now to revise or review their immaturity, their illusions. So the most high is creating this limbo or this cosmic struggle to kind of bring glory or rewards in it. I feel like you guys are still very supportive of each other, even in silence. That's cool, huh? So maybe you're a person that you could be a spiritual one or you could be someone that has very... I'm not saying high standards or values, but you have a moral code that you live by. And maybe uh, you were trained differently from this person. <clears throat> maybe one of you came from a house of love, even though you had co-parenting involved. And the other one may have came from a folly lifestyle where support was like, what you could do for me, what you could bring for the table, why gain out of it. And you may have came from a background where you were chosen or you're the one that stepped up to kind of help others, but still be very practical. So you may be wise or you may be older than your, than your time is what I'm getting. This person may have also let go some sort of paradigm that they had between the both of you. It's that, that thinking, that belief, or that uncertainty, because I feel like it's a belief that leads to further uncertainties. That shit is crumbling. It's... It's old, son. The shit is like ruined. <laughs> All right. So divine timing, God speed is here or the most high speeds is here. We have honeymoon. So they feel like they're going to see you again. Something has confirmed to this person that they're going to see you again. They have faith in this dream that they had. It could be a, a goal, a dream goal, or they literally had a dream about seeing you again. They feel your energy being close, being drawn close. So they may be seeing people that look like you from far or your name is coming up or they're just having some sort of reassurance or reaffirm that this is in the end. This is this is this is soon. This is soon. All right. So as your person wait, they are growing up fast. Or they're learning something really fast here with the Eight of Wands. Could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. So this could be very, um, like a whirlwind romance. They could feel very infatuated by you or they're infatuated with the love that's going on here between the both of you. They, they feel like spending time with you may feel like paradise, like a getaway, like holiday time. You feel like... Being with you feels like that good Sunday morning breakfast, right? You know, when you wake up and your ma or your pa or your grandma, your, your abuela, whomever in the kitchen is cooking up that good breakfast. Ooh. And they wake up and they smell it and it's like, oh my God, I'm loved, right? So let's talk about this eight of wands. This person was temporarily delayed from you because they need to learn how to make the adjustments they need to learn how to release these things that no longer serve or has proven to um create difficulties or uh discontentment we have the sun sun rules leo so we have a strong fire sign leo uh that could be involved they want to support you oh you make them smile you light up their world you make them feel alive you make them feel like they could do anything I'm also hearing that it's a new day. It's going to be a new day when this divine timing has completed. Talk about it. I'm getting green for the money or green is for exchanging. So maybe this person wants to exchange. They want to make you happy or they don't feel they're happiest when they're without you. Lovers. Ew. So you're a person 
right now, you know what they're surrendering to? They're surrendering to a softer side of themselves. You make them, let me, let me, let me get closer here. Let me scoot my booty up here. <laughs> I'm getting that there was a blind spot with you and this person for some reason. But I'm also getting that you're teaching this person or this love relationship is teaching this person to overcome anxiety about who they truly are. So this time away from you, because something is delayed here, delayed from spending time with you, from spending like this blissful time with you, whatever that means. Maybe you guys are apart, you know, this could be long distance romance or lovers, or this could be, you know, it's like space. Maybe you're like one or two hours away from this person or whatever. But there's space here, and it could be you guys living under the same roof, but there's just emotional, it's like an emotional gap here. You know, you may be, again, wiser or more grown. Even this person is older than you. Gemini energy could be very chatty, or they learn a lot from your chatty ass. <laughs> but they're in a soft space right now. I feel like they're surrendering to pieces of themselves that they hid away, or that they blocked off because of this illusion. So uh, the lover showing up could talk about re uh, being um, in separation physically. Maybe this person, they were just into the physical aspects of life and they were not really in tune with spiritual connections or deeper connections. Hey, listen, the lover's energy. Hmm. Let me see if I have any songs. Hey. Okay, so 911, I do. And we have Wait For You by Elliot Yemen. Baby, I Miss You by Chris Norman. What's going on with your person? Yeah, they feel rushed. They want to rush something here, but they know they can't. Divine timing has humbled this person. <laughs> so it's finally making sense with the lovers and the sun. This could feel like miracles, right? Like the sun is just shining on these beautiful lovers. I also feel like the lovers template is rising up. So those of you that are falling in love with yourself, you're falling in love with the parts of yourself that you feel were ugly or dark because you're doing that. You're practicing like this self-love. You're balancing it into your life. You're integrating it into your life. It's causing these folly ways of living to crash. There's growth here. But there's also unhappiness. Like, I want to grow with you. Something about I want to grow with you. What is this sun card about? Somebody could be practicing road opener rituals. Or the road is opening. There's a miracle that's uh, presented here. Some of you may have uh, wisdom of the ancestors or you're guided by your ancestors. Some of you, this person is reclaiming some sort of spiritual wisdom, but they have to do that by loving on themselves. This is why you guys are apart. Your person has to love on themselves. And they know. They know because they had some decisions that they made here that left them feeling very burnt out, exhausted, depleted, and sad, dissatisfied. Could be from past lovers that they thought were the one. Maybe this person has a bad habit of falling in love pretty easily. And everybody that they fall in love or everybody that they have a relationship with is some sort of love, some sort of level of love there. So you may be dealing with someone that wears their heart on their sleeve. The sun rules Leo. We have the moon. We have Pisces, Cancer energy. So this, this could be a secret romance or there's secret romantic feelings that they're harboring for you. Very, very infatuated romantically, passionately. They're facing their fears, honey boo boo. They're facing all these immature emotions. They're walking on the dark night of the soul. So they're facing these fears. Kudos to your person. Yeah, I feel like they're being reborn here. In the moon energy. What is this secret? Some of you, this person may be secretly planning to come towards you. Planning, planning some sort of trip or vacation. It's a secret. Oh, I'm hearing that they wouldn't, they are not going to allow their fears to delay them any longer. Okay, we have angel number 188 or 818. They want prosperity. They have abundance of love here for you. No doubt. They could be just keeping it in the dark for right now. They want to stay in the dark for right now. Or they don't want you to feel like you're in the dark. We have the Knight of Swords. They want to shake shit, shit up. They want to offer you their cup of love. 
they don't want to be happy no more they're tired of being on the edge with the uh knight of swords i feel like they're wanting to be very courageous they're gonna shake things up with their love can't get enough of your love baby what is that barry white dang that came in pretty loud i just i just blurred <laughs> I'm hearing it's something that he doesn't know right now. Something that somebody doesn't know, maybe you don't know. Or he doesn't know right now. So there's a miracle that's going to come out that he doesn't know right now. So there's a miracle coming for your person to get clarity. Ace of Cups. Holy Grail. They want to give you their love. I'm hearing in three days. Three days the heart is going to be weighed. Three days, the heart is going to be in balance or suffer. In the next three days, people, ew, <laughs> there will be a rainbow or there will be some sort of confirmation, a natural confirmation that this person cup is now replenished. They could have thrown away their old cup. They thrown away their old beliefs of love and now they have a new belief. They have a new container for love. Ow. Oh, their ego. Their ego is in check. I got a big ego. I love that big ego. <laughs> I walk like this because I could back it up. Oh, oh. Yeah. So I'm also hearing the neighbors is going to know my name. Ew, is that Trey Songs? Yeah. Boom, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> that part always makes me sick. <laughs> wow. So we have a very fearless young man. Or he looks like a young man. I'm hearing he doesn't know yet. Or she doesn't know yet. They're gonna... This person may be naturally aggressive. They're naturally like... We're doing this now. So they may be taking the lead. I like it. But it may be very spontaneous. Okay, so I'm getting that they were cold and calculated because of their ego, son, right? But they always had this love for you. They just kept it hidden. Maybe they needed to kind of figure out, was is this the kind of love or infatuation I had with my other, my, my past peoples or my past ex-lovers? Like, is this the same love? So it took this person some time to figure out what kind of love it is. And I feel like it's very compassionate romantic could be very mystical or dark at times very uncertain but they still go through with it they still want to be fearless could be at nighttime they talking to you nighttime or nighttime they want to see you it's like even in the nighttime you glow or even in the night someone glows so your complexion could be very high colored or gold i'm getting like this brown girl vibes Mm, there's obsession and jealousy coming from the knight of swords because of this person's ego they're feeling reckless uh restless because they have a, a dream goal hey a goal dream a dream goal yeah they have a vision and they're feeling restless about it it's like they're getting anxious about the time okay so something has finally cleared the way here with the okay so something is going to clear up unexpectedly like the fog is just going to like disperse or something no not disperse but it's it's like the fog is just going to like just it's just gonna like separate or something and then there's a path with the sun so the night and the, the night the, the day and night i think about you day and night or we're like the moon and the sun i'm constantly chasing the moon and it's only like a few hours the moon gets to see the sun <laughs> it's like the moon is in, the sun is in love with the moon, but always feels like it's chasing the moon. And that's not right for their ego, but they love you. It's like, that is like, you lucky I love you. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going to chase you, but I will wait for you. Ah! A rush of an opportunity. This person is, this person likes to move fast, but they can't do that with you. They probably did that with past lovers. But it was all like superficial sexual shit back then. Or maybe that's what it was in the beginning. And now it's like, you're the one. You're my equal. I know that you're my equal because you challenge me to love the pieces of myself I hate or it's ugly. 
Ooh, they want to ride that wave. You may be like super soaker. Are you like a water park? <laughs> <laughs> they want to they want to dive in your water park or they want to dive in your oceans i'm also getting that the moon is really um it's inviting your person to feel more romantic and they're indulging in it <laughs> they want to support you they want to show you this love can't get enough of your love baby miracle somebody's name is miracle or rainbow Mm. Okay, so your person may have a, a ego where when they don't get what they want, they get very angry. And I feel like they're trying not to get angry. They're trying to do the necessary adjustments. They're, <clears throat> they're not trying to get immature anymore, but they do have the tendency to do so. They're trying to think or move with love. They're trying to come from a place of love instead of this calculated, cold ego self. They're starting towards a goal because they're restless. Hello? <laughs> We have the chariot. And we have the empress. Libra, Taurus, Cancer, energy. Yeah, baby. You must be it for this person. It's like, it's nobody after you. It was never nobody before you. I was probably dating a lot of doppelgangers. That kind of, <clears throat> uh, you know, kept me in this immature mentality. But guess what? You step into my life and you refreshed my vision you nurtured me and still give me space to love on myself you taught this person unconditional love and unconditional trust now the thing is with the chariot they want more experiences with you i feel like it's at home though this is a home body somebody's a home body hey something about the neighbors they know your name or the neighbors know you or they know when you're in town or the neighbors know when you're there Y'all are fucking tripping. I'm hearing Beautiful Soul by Jesse McCartney. Just a Dream by Nelly. Could be something for y'all. I'm hearing Boys to Men. I'll make love to you when you want me to. Is that Boys to Men? Ah, shit. I got my, my music crossed, y'all. The Love of My Life by Dan, Will, uh, Dan Hill. So maybe there's a hill. Oh, what? You save this person from themselves, from their ego, and they, they, they can't, like, there's no hiding no more. They don't want to cry no more. They cry at night, or they cry when they're by water. Very emotional about you, right? They realize something, and it's something about your pretty hair or your face. And I'm also getting, like, with this Knight of Swords energy, because I keep hearing he doesn't know yet. Or she doesn't know yet. But I feel like this man's power, it lies in the stillness with centering, centering himself. This is why we have the lovers with the chariot. The chariot is very imperial energy. This is the, the, war, the winner's energy when we have a big triumphant, when we have conquered a big goal, when we have um, successfully overcome something that was designed to kill us, right? So your, your person may be feeling like this man, this masculine power, a cosmic light of illumination. They feel God's love. They feel God's love through this unconditional love. You guys, something about my precious thing has been locked away. Some sort of precious thing with the empress and the lovers. Mm -hmm. I feel like your person, they don't want to rush what they have to speak to you about. I'm hearing the darkness. You illuminate the darkness. Oh, you, oh, you know what? You, you silence their darkness. You silent their ego. I don't know. It's something about you that pushed this person to look in the light, the sun. They may, they may be a very um, hyper or active sign. Maybe they love sunny energy or sunny areas, sunny weather. It makes them feel like I could do anything. I could charge. I could, I could lead and win. So they want experiences with you, but they know that they have to be the one to lead. And that may be opening spiritual doors or that may have pushed them to do a dark night of the soul because they have to grow up if they want to lead in a very promising, achievable direction. 
<laughs> so there's new realities. I'm also again that your person is um, expanding conscientiously. So your person may be open to multiple alternatives or multiple perspectives. I feel like with the sun here, it's saying that um, the door has opened. Some sort of portal with the moon. It has opened. The Empress is here. So Empress overall energy with balanced spirituality and practicality. This is something that either you or this person has to work on. It's like unconditional love. This is life given energy from the Empress. This could also mean that some mother wounds has been healed. Things that was causing or triggering this like ego has to do with the mother dilemmas or mother issues. Maybe this person never really had emotional support and you coming in doing that, it kind of opened up their perspectives, but they needed to do it alone away from you. Now with the chariot, I feel like achieving, achievements, wanting to do that, wanting to be compelled to achieve, victorious, something swift and effortlessly. So this may be what they want things to go down swift and effortlessly or this plan that they want to execute. They are praying that it's going to happen smooth and effortlessly. There's something in the chariot knowing, knowing in the lover's energy, Gemini, uh, Cancer, Libra, Taurus, finding my way back to the light, finding my way back to the light feeling very very victorious or feeling very imperial almost like emperor like with the chariot don't run away from uh owning your shadow don't run away from owning your shadow this is the hunter's energy hunting your shadows hunting your fair down i'm hearing the shadow holds the information to find your way back home So this is a this is plenty of major arcanas because I feel like the ethers is a part of this. So the ethers, the most high is a part of this movement or what's about to be revealed because he or she doesn't know yet. So I wanted to talk about um, shadow work and soul loss because sometimes when we do shadow work, we could get disassociated from our soul. We tend to feel lost. We tend to feel scattered with the Knight of Swords. So your person is having a light shown on them. And this could be from the love that they feel. The love that's springing up from shadow or dark um, aspects of themselves. I'm getting that the darkness, its only purpose was to align this person on their rightful path. And they know that now. That may be something that they did not know at the time. So a uh, knight of swords could be into science, the science of love, the science of money, the science of health, always making head over heart decisions that did not lead them anywhere. They were going around and around in a circle. So I feel like in that time, this divine timing, your person is having a chance to put problems into perspective. I don't know. I feel like a lot of science and faith is in this card here too as well. So, um, head over heart approach. I see that your person may be seeing a, a different or alternative way to do or think or move forward other than head over heart. So mastering the spiritual and the physical with the chariot, feeling accomplished. If they were plagued with anxiety or fear of failure, they're pushing those distracting, um, distracting uh factors away and i say that because we have the sun so your person may see friendship and family within you in this cup of love they offer friend friendship and family you're their family all right so if the sun was in this egotistical indecisive energy they know that they were going the wrong way because of the delays that was cropping up being in that egotistical i'm also feeling like sweaty or hot so it's like a hot climate or this person gets sweaty and hot when you come around i'm getting the sword of judgment with the knight of swords they're carrying the sword of judgment or they're carrying their final decision i'm hearing growth great benefits in the mundane world this is what they're working on they're so sur they're surrounded by a society that's constantly pushing them to uh get small or limit themselves 
Okay, so they could be in this alchemist energy, reaching a higher height or a new height, seeking the light or seeking the truth. Because knights are always on a quest. They're always on a mission. I'm seeing uh, new beginnings in Canada. That's not a sunny area, is it? Nope. <laughs> new, new beginnings in a sunny area. We have Capricorn. Something about a tribal, a, a tribe, a tribe helps someone with their, their root chakra, their first chakra. Okay, so somebody could have helped your person. It could be you, it could be other people, but I feel like someone helped your person with breaking, um, feeling insecure in themselves. So they break the root chakra here. They break it, they're balancing it, and I feel like there's a sense of security within them now sense of what am i trying to say so in the process of breaking this old paradigm or releasing it surrendering to the falling of some sort of whatever that was it was not accurate it was not doing anybody any favors i feel like your person is feeling a sense of security of support within themselves so self-support lovers and the chariot they're feeling nervous though they're feeling nervous about how safe you feel with them. Interesting. They're having an ethereal experience. Lover's chariot. This is why they feel like they need to go now. It's, it's compelling them to do things. Or it's compelling them to move forward with some sort of plan. Okay. In a more productive way. So your person is becoming more productive. And it's thanks to this empress. You may be a god. A goddess. If you're a guy that's watching. You have a very strong feminine energy. You may be very elegant. Graceful. You kind of roll with the natural forces of life. You may be very respectable. Of your emotions. You respect how you feel. The messages. Be, you may be very just emotionally intelligent. All right. I'm also getting that there was self-limiting beliefs. Hey, with a chariot. But they're releasing that. I'm getting them was too stupid. I'm so stupid. Or I'm just like my dad. I'm just like her. I'm just like him. I was too weak or it was too much. Something was going on here with a belief and they surrendered it. They, they gave it up. Okay, so I want to say that the chariot could sometimes feel like a very healthy masculine energy or a conscientious masculine energy because if you look in a traditional tarot the symbolism on uh the emperor or the gladiator it signifies a lot to me and you know it has like that spinning top in the middle so even though your person may feel unbalanced or things around them are like chaotic they're still balancing there's the clarity that this person is achieving right now is giving them a sense of direction. So even though these things are collapsing, they're still moving through. They're riding the wave. They're keeping balance elegantly, softly. I'm also hearing delicate. They may feel like you're delicate, but very strong. I'm also hearing that somebody glows when this person is around. That's how they know that you feel safe with them because you light up or you glow. The empress is glowing like the sun, but delicate or deep like the moon. The empress has intuitive psychic abilities, vast and deep as the ocean. You may have a masculine streak as well that makes you strong or you know how to silence your masculine shield and you know when to be feminine. So you may be a woman, a goddess that thinks like a lady, but you operate like a man or you think like a man. Sorry. You think like a man, but you reason like a lady. You act like a lady, but you think very masculine, very action oriented, decisive. You know what you want and you move on it. That's masculine vibes. So masculine integrity inspires feminine radiance so masculine integrity inspires feminine radiance so the support structure is being built here 
the support structure is being built this person wants to offer you support structure and protection because they understand how it calms your nervous system it puts you in your feminine energies and they love that so your person may be growing up from a little boy to a man or from a little girl to a man a little girl to a woman well that could be for some of you so i feel like your shield came out you could have been very vague with this person vague with your love they don't like that because they know what you're capable of they know that you need trust and i feel like they're willing to show you beyond the fear beyond the shame beyond the ego control or the ego trapping they want to show you something amazing that's possible they side in a dream they could have even had angels or their ancestors show them that you are indeed the person to give life you're the life giver the life bringer and i feel like subconsciously you don't trust men or you don't trust uh, masculine energy you don't you don't feel safe around this energy or you this person knows you don't you no longer feel safe around them and this is why yeah this is why they're in the chariot and the sun so they may be coming back around or they're coming to you to show you a better experience i'm hearing that the ego couldn't understand this love between the both of you because it's very spiritual ancient as well their ego didn't understand their ego uh caused trouble and confusion between what was real and what was unreal so i'm hearing speak healing words in your water keep hydrated drink water that's pushing pushing nutrients back in your body not flushing it out This person is saying that they did not understood right away what this was, but now they do. They needed time and space. And they're doing the necessary um, moves to eradicate ineffective, childish, immature, petty, egotistical behaviors. Not saying that it is all going to be eradicated, but they are aware of the triggers, hey, what causes delays. They are aware of their own uh, personal actions and behaviors that causes delay. I'm hearing 9-11. 9-11 uberus so there's a circular connection within without the uberus cosmic order is hey out of chaos cosmic order is hey five of cups your person is no longer going to be um feeling bad for themselves they understand that that's part of their ego as well you guys are du uh, duality you're completely different from each other, but you complement each other very well. And love is what gels you guys closer. So let's see what they want to tell you. I think I use this deck too much. <laughs> All right. Channel message from your person. What's going on with this harvest moon? I'm hearing, beam me up, Scotty. Afraid of my emotions. Love makes me want to risk everything that scares me. Everything I was taught. Will I be left with nothing? So your person is afraid to lose who they are, their identity. But it's love, hey, and it's unconditional trust and unconditional love. So this person would love you no matter what. But I feel like this love has the power to change them so drastically that they feel like they're not going to be themselves. So they may give you space or they push you away because they're afraid that they may lose who they are. So they want to maintain their personality. They want to maintain... Who they think they are. The first and the last. I don't know why I got that with the Alpha and the Amiga. Sun and the Moon. This is feminine and masculine energy for real. Somebody's coming into balance. So they could move more um, confidently. More direct. Be forward and ask for what you want. Take action. Ooh, this person is going to come at you. Boo boo. They miss when you were the one that was forward and clean. Prophetic dreams freak me out. So their ancestors or their celestial team that is very fond of them and wants them to have love in their life has been whispering dreams about you and them. Maybe there's a move that they were shown in their dream that is freaking them out, but they know they need to do it, but they're trying to put their own spin on it because I feel like this is very creative. Uh, I want to do it my way. 
type of energy. It's almost like the emperor is here, but not showing up. He's in his chariot, in his buggy, in his car. Wow. They are healing some sort of interference. I'm continuously conquering the stagnancy in my life. Unstoppable. Yeah. This person has the love running through them. They're unstoppable and they're constantly doing adjustments required. They're constantly working on themselves, my love. Wow. You are worth it. You are the empress. Oh, no. Are you the childlike empress? Yo. So you may look young. A lot of people say I look young too, but ugh. 9-11, now we have 9-9, nine, 9-11 nine. Nine, may be somebody's birthday, or that may be um, time stamp here for something to pop off. Uh, we have life paths of 1, 1, 6, 7, 8, 9. 999 nine, nine. step into your power and be po be a positive example release the fears and the doubts there's a new beginning so there's a new cycle of love that your person is hell bent on uh bringing in ushering in i want a partnership it won't always be easy or perfect i just know that if this uh, i just know that if the good outweighs the bad it will be well worth it <laughs> past memories my memories mean something memories of a past life together <laughs> so in this <laughs> i am just a sucker for love that's the libra in me but i do have aries rising so mm. <laughs> it's worth fighting for and i feel like this person is tired of being limited in their involvement in your life and vice versa i feel like involvement is this person's um it's like that's what they're focusing on being involved you're their empress nothing grows without this love and they know it so even though things may be going great in life or it's nothing to complain about your person just feels like they're better off when you're by their side they want you in their buggy or, or their chariot or in their car or in their yacht or in their boat or under a tree and under a car <laughs> let's play so this person is going after their dreams moth butterfly moth okay so i think i started saying in the beginning the clock started ticking the moment you and i feel like the clock started ticking when you showed this person that they need to face their fears or i feel like the most high is working with this person very closely i feel like there was some unchecked or hidden mother dilemmas that this person is working through maybe something happened between them and their their mom or the matriarchal energy in their life and they've never been the same after that you coming into their life they felt like you were designed or created just for them they feel like they were born just for you they feel like they were born to take to take this journey to meet you the koi fishes the yin and yang energy without you i cannot walk so this is a backbone type of energy they may feel like you're their backbone but without um without it's like you're so strong that you sit on your th you you know when it's time to be receptive you know when it's time to lead you know when it's time to shut up you know when it's time to talk it's like you have a perfect balance with go uh like flopping between your masculine and feminine energy and that is like mystical it's like i'm getting like this mystic starry night and you just appear from like behind the brushes or something behind the bushes it's like very enchanting that's the word they're very enchanted by you about your mate about how you were created how you were designed he they're like man the most high must have spent more time on you because whoo you perfect <laughs> you want to get one more card let's see um what is this knight of swords they're a little hesitant here maybe they're thinking man i don't want to come on too strong <laughs> i don't want to seem like i'm i'm i just here for the sex but damn i want to be with you i want to connect with you like that there's a hidden mystery here. What is this about? The nine. Nine is about nine. Oh, so the number nine. It's coming out to us to tell us that the hidden mysteries is about to be revealed. It's not a secret. It's a hidden mystery 
a miracle that's about to be revealed because he doesn't know yet. She doesn't know yet. I don't know how I don't know how you feel until you tell me. <laughs> oh, you mystical, mystical creature. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there's unity here. Expansion of the conscientiousness. Rebalance and restore. Yo. This cosmic struggle, all of this was, it was worth it. It was meant to be, it was, re, it was meant for this person to rebalance and restore. Their soul is half restored, but they want you. They feel like the whole soul is going to be restored when you're in their life. It's half restored, you know? So they're rebalancing, they're restoring. Hats off to your person. I really like this person. It wasn't easy, but they feel like it's worth it. Uh, they feel like they're constantly chasing you or looking for you with a flash uh, out in the daytime looking for you with a flashlight. Yeah, they want to tell you how they feel and it may come out very aggressive. They're very forceful. Oh, I feel like I feel like very sexy and safe around this type of energy. What's going on with me? <laughs> I'm hearing I'll drop it all. I risk it all just for you. Okay, so I just got, I can't come forward yet. I can't come forward right now. Yellow man, yellow man, yellow man. Yellow, yellow, golden yellow. What, what the hell yellow man come from? You know, I used to listen to a lot of yellow man. Oh no, golden touch. There's a reggae song called golden touch. I forget what artist that was. Golden Touch. You got the Golden Touch. Golden Touch. Something, 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 something. <laughs> so the Golden Touch. Yellow. Golds. Mm. Yellow is not only signifying creativity, but it's also trusting your creativity. It's also trusting what was created here. Oh, shit. So somebody coming forward, they fighting their fans, man. They're like, I'm going to take this sword out of truth because I love my baby. So fuck this demon. Fuck that demon. Fuck that skeleton in that class. <laughs> so it, it appears that in this cosmic struggle, there is cosmic order. And I say that because divine timing is high. The most high timing is high. Don't disrespect that shit. You know what I'm saying? So in the midst of this cosmic struggle, there is cosmic order and it's going to be apparent. It's going to be mad apparent. Ooh. Somebody have a soldier of love, a knight of love, the great white knight is here. So your person is coming with this white light energy, solar energy. Woo. They come in to take the reins. I'm going to be the first and the last. Woo. No more interferences because this person is doing the work. All right. So I'm going to leave it there. You guys jump down in the comment box below and tell me what you guys think. I feel like your person is using unseen forces. They're working along unseen for forces to come back to themselves with the lovers. So your person is coming back to themselves to get to you. Ooh. It's like get back to yourself and I'm going to meet you there or something like that. <laughs> So these are sequence of events. These are what's happening in some sort of sequence of events. Big up Uno Self in the comment box if you get that. Pay attention to details. There's evidence. There's facts here. All right. So yeah. To you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.